You join me on a merry little jaunt through the gorgeous Glen Lion on my way to the rock formation Fionn's Rock or the Praying Hands of Mary. I ignored this footage for a year, so disappointed that I wasn't producing BAFTA quality footage on my first ever trip out to launch this, my YouTube channel. Now I may have made the odd mistake along the way, for example, well, cutting off the bottom of my scenes, or standing too far away for my mic to actually pick anything up, oh and the classic, failing to focus my camera, bravo welcome. But I think the thing that caps everything off is when my poor husband jumped over the bottom of this waterfall and broke his shoulder. Now don't judge me, this was taken before the accident. Having flatly refused to accept any medical attention, we arose bright and early the next morning, drove for three hours through Glen Coe, Fort William and Glen Finnan to Arasaig, where we'd catch a ferry to the Isle of Egg and the Inner Hebrides. Once landed, we took the only road over the island and based ourselves near Lake Bay and the Singing Sands and had three days of photographic heaven. Well, I did. Well, welcome to Lake Beach on Egg, my home for the next three days. This area here is one of the least cluttered areas, could make an interesting foreground. Um, I'll have to come back and have an explore a little bit later on with my proper camera. Meanwhile, I'm going to go and try and find those legendary dinosaur eggs. Well, I think I've found what they're referring to. It's really unusual rock formations around here. I think with some water gushing around here, says she who now needs to check the tides and the moon, that actually could make a lovely shot. Yeah, well, the tides and moon were wrong and there were no clouds on my first night, but I did get a rather pleasing sun star. At this time of night, the midges had subsided, but the sandhoppers came out. They don't bite, but they're pretty unnerving. So today's the 1st of June and sunset is 10.04. We're going to be here for some time. So I'd imagine it might be half past 10, quarter to 11 by the time I've got the last of that pink colour on the horizon. Luckily, this is a sunset location, so I don't have to get up really early tomorrow for sunrise. Good morning. Well, as much as last night was lovely, getting up this morning and seeing a thin ribbon of cloud just halfway across the island was really quite special. So I grabbed my flip-flops and my bag and I ran down to the front I spent most of the last half hour in the water. Just like to let you know, it's really quite chilly. The thing I was after was the light and the angle that it was coming in was really allowing those contours to be accentuated. And when you combine that with that ribbon of cloud that was going across the middle, it was really quite special. If you do ever come to Egg, or in fact any of the Highland areas, make use of a website called Walk Highland. They've got some fabulous little hidden gems. In fact, on this island alone, there are 10 walks that they describe. This is one of them. I think probably one of the shortest, to be fair. And I've got to make my way over a low stone wall, a, a marker with blue paint on. Well, <coughs> I found the wall, haven't found the paint. Well, this is the first view of the singing sands, and as you can see, it's quite a little bit of rocky foreground that you can make use of as well, um, which might lead you up. I've got my eye on something already, towards the lovely Isle of Run there. So what's quite fun at the, here at the singing sands is to try and pick out the foregrounds uh, that sort of lead directly towards Rum. Uh, not as easy as it looks, let alone because anything that is bright green is pretty sketchy and pretty slippery. So what I need to do is make sure that I remain vertical as much as possible as I pick out the lovely details as we go by. What I'm focusing on is this green in front of us here with the leading line sort of swooshing in towards the island. Ideally, it would be nice to have been here with a bit of water up swishing around with it, but it's not going to happen. 
I'm uh, going to focus stack. I've done F16 about a 50th of a second focus stacking. I've gone for a vertical because it just lends itself with this lovely corner of the rock just down the bottom of the screen here coming into the corner of the frame. Now I faffed about so much that by the time I took these shots a storm was coming through so shortly after we had to take refuge in the rocks behind and guess what I found? Now this wasn't a total surprise, I had seen two shots of this online but I didn't expect to get a portfolio shot or have it published. Well, I found my waterfall. It's in a very enclosed space and one of those places where you have to take one step, move your tripod and repeat that process until you find exactly what you're looking for. Clearly you need to get the sky out of your shot. There's only a tiny bit anyway that you could get into there. And again, you've got those lovely bright green grasses um, all over the sides of the walls. And it's just about picking what you want in and actually equally important, what you want to eliminate. And the last opportunity to see the sun fall behind rum itself. My goodness, what a special place this is. Tomorrow we leave and we are aiming to go to Muck uh, and then return on the same ferry that will get us back to Arasay for a phenomenally long journey but in our van back to the south coast. Tonight I'm just waiting to see whether or not these clouds light up gloriously pink as they did last night and hopefully just a little bit more balance as they go over the island. So as the evening drew into night, I stayed until nearly every bit of light disappeared in the full knowledge that it may be some time before I returned.